Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, get ready to roll. Today we are going to work on a division problem. And we are going to do 2,657 divided by 5 using the partial quotients method. It is also sometimes called the box method and it could also be called the area model. So a bunch of fancy names, they all do one thing and that is divide. Okay, so let's get started. Now, looking at this problem right away, I already know that my problem is going to have a remainder in the quotient because the number ends in 7. And I know that if it was a multiple of 5, it would end in 5 or 0. So since it doesn't, I know 5 doesn't go in there evenly, which means it will have a remainder. All right, so our first step in a problem using this model is to draw a rectangle. Hence why we call it the box method or the area model, we need to have this rectangle. And we need to look at this box or rectangle as if it is a division sign. So take a look at what your average division problem looks like. You have the large dividend under the sign and the divisor on the outside. So just that way we will have our divisor 5 on the outside of the box. Now we are going to start with our whole dividend, 2,657, and that is going to be our first box. So you are going to create your first section, and on the top you are going to write 2,657. This is our starting point. Now we have to start our dividing. So we need to ask ourselves, how many times does 5 go into 2? Well, it doesn't. So let's go on to 26. How many times does 5 go into 26? And all of you know that it is 5. So 5 goes into 26 5 times because 5 times 5 is 25. And then here's a little secret I will tell you guys. You see these two numbers 5 and 7? We didn't use them so we are going to put zeros on top of them. And the reason the answer there is 500 is because we didn't do 26 divided by 5. We did 2,600 divided by 5. And the closest we can get to that is 500. So that is how we get that. You add those zeros to kind of make it become in the hundreds place. Okay, so let's start with what we did. We first divided. Then we have to now multiply our partial quotient. So our partial quotient is in the red. That is part of our quotient. We are going to multiply it by our divisor. 500 times 5 equals 2,500 because 5 times 5 is 25. And then we add our zeros. So our second step, multiply. Now we have to do our third step and our third step is to subtract. And I will go ahead and write that on the side here so we do not forget. All right, and now I am going to subtract and I am left with 157. I am going to take that difference, 157, and I am going to move it up. This is going to be my next box. So up here I'm going to write 157, and this is where I will continue the problem. Okay, now look at this number 157. We are going to now start dividing with 157. We are done with that large number 2,657. We are saying goodbye to that because we already used 2,500 of it. All we have left over now is 157, so that is what we are working with. And at this point, you are going to start repeating these steps here on the left side. How many times does 5 go into 1? It doesn't, but 5 goes into 15 three times. Make sure you write the 3 on top of the 5 because we are dividing 15, not 1. And don't forget to add those magic zeros. 5 goes into 150 30 times. That is essentially why we are making that a 30 kind of makes it become in the tens place, which is what we need. Next here I am multiplying. 30 times 5 is 150, and then we subtract. So following the same steps, and now we have 7 left over. 
And what do you think we're going to do next, everybody? That's right. I'm sure you all shout it out. You are going to move our leftover up to the next and final box. Now we have seven. And now we are back to step number one, which is divide. How many times does five evenly fit into seven? One time. There are no zeros or extra digits here, so we don't need to add any zeros. We are going to multiply. One times five is five. And then we will subtract our third step, and we have two left over. So now our new number is two. But you might be noticing that, well, five doesn't fit into two, and there are no more numbers in our problem here, so we cannot divide any further. So two is our leftover, which we call our remainder. It is what is remaining. So two becomes a remainder, which we represent with R2. Okay, so now let's look back at this example here. This is the same problem written in your standard division way. And if you were to do it the long division way, or where would the answer go, everybody? Ooh, I think I heard some of you say it. The answer goes on top. It would go on the top of this sometimes called house. So let's look at the top of our rectangle. And on the top of our rectangle, we have 530 and 1. And we are going to add those numbers together because these are what we call partial quotients, which means they are part of the quotient. So we add them all together to get our final answer or our final quotient. So I'm going to go ahead and write that step down. I know I write really fast, you guys. And now let me show you what the partial quotients are, just as a reminder. Our partial quotients, I'm going to highlight in yellow, are the top. So our 500, our 30, and our 1. Um, so now we are going to add those numbers together. We have 500 plus 30, plus 1, and that gives us 531. But please don't forget about the other really important part of the answer, and that is our remainder. We need that R2 in our answer, otherwise it is not complete. So there's our answer. Now if you feel like you got all that, you can go ahead and exit this video, but if you want to be a fantastic student, you're going to want to check your answer. So you want to find out, is 531 remainder 2 really the correct quotient? So let's take a look. The inside of our box represents our 2,657. And that means we need to end with that number. So I'm going to go ahead and show you in the color pink the part of our problem that is our dividend, so the 2,657. And if we want to find out if we got the answer correct, we need to add all those parts. So we have the 2,500, we have the 150, and we have the 5. We're going to add those together. And we're going to end up, hopefully, with the correct answer. So let's, let's just check it out. Um, I will give you a heads up, we really won't end up with the right answer, so spoiler alert, we will end up with 5 in the 1s, 5 in the 10s, 6 and 2. And that number is supposed to be 2,657 if we are correct. So you are probably wondering, where did the other two go? Ah, tricked ya, we definitely did the problem right. The other two are right here. That really important part of our answer, that R2, we have to add that in as well. So we had 2,655 in the box, but we have to also add our remainder too. And if we are correct, we will end up with 2,657. And here's the moment of truth. Ding, ding, ding. You guessed it, folks. We definitely divided correctly. 2,657 divided by 5 is 531 remainder 2. Ta-da!